Hi guys, this is Prahlad Kakkar and uh, I have created a new YouTube channel to teach you about network programming. I am going to use Python for this and uh, as programmer meant to programmers are meant to use their resources efficiently, uh, I was not getting my voice clearly on my laptop so I am using this phone. But don't worry if you require complex experiments on complex uh, uh, programs that do require my laptop. I will do the videos on my laptop itself so uh, for the basic introductory videos and for basic descriptions and uh, uh, for small programs for smaller programs we are going to consider this Android device as our new programming ID a new programming machine so here this is not a beginner course it's an advanced course and this channel presumes that you have a little bit knowledge of networking and you know how to program in Python too but if you are an advanced learner and you know how to learn and you know how to program in any other languages you can also uh, join this course to learn in network programming as I'm going to explain everything that I'm gonna use here so let's start with this QPython this QPython application is freely available in Google Play Store and you can use this uh, for creating Python application and running interpreter statements too and the QPython we are having a console that is used for interpreter statements that we can run it on and we are having an editor also in this we can make our python scripts and run our program as to do a normal task or do a complex task and everything so now for getting back to the network programming uh, when different kind of machines are communicating with each other they are sharing resources sharing files and uh, they are transferring data between each other they are supposed to in be in a network right and uh, when we are going to create an application or when we are going to create a program that enables us to communicate over over different networks or with different devices then the first thing that comes in our mind is sockets sockets are the lower level interfaces that enables communication for machine over different networks so here in Python we are having a socket module that un, uh, that uh, manages the connection sockets and enable us to create socket connections and communicate with uh, between different applications and different devices also. So for our Python the module we are having is socket so I am going to import that module socket. After getting imported if you know if you want to check the documentation the python documentation if you don't if you getting any sort of doubt or confusion then you can check the help method also in this help method you will get the content that is available in the python documentation so i'm going to press enter 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 we are going to get the further more details that is available uh, in the python documentations now what i am going to do is getting back to the programming network programming the socket so I'm going to import the socket module and uh, making any socket connections we need to initialize the socket object we need to create a socket object and then we uh, enable our machine for the furthermore communications using my program so I'm going to do this by socket uh, our uh, socket method and that is available in socket module so socket dot socket now what I want to do is I am going to uh, give the behavior or give the uh, parameters for this method the first parameter this method consists or this method take is the IP family whether I want to use IPv4 or whether I want to use IPv6 so for IPv4 I am having a constant that is defined in socket module that is AFINET and uh, if I want to use IPv6 then I am just going to use AFINET6 but I am familiar I am ok with IPv4 so I am constant uh, I am currently using IPv4 so I am using this AFINET the next parameter is the protocol whether I want to use uh, my uh, SOC stream that is my TCP and whether I am want to use the UDP so for TCP I am having like a socket dot is a constant called sock stream this sock stream is for tcp connections and if i want to deal with udp then i will go for dgram but i am here i want to 
do i want to make uh, uh, my program for with tcp i want to initialize my socket object with tcp connections so i'm using this soc stream constant of socket module now the third parameter is protocol version that is really used so you don't need to define it here right now and uh, i'm just gonna hit enter and it will create a socket object at with the name s now if i want to print s that what is the particular object is so it will show me a socket object has been created at a particular address now suppose we are uh, having a socket object that we have created and uh, this enables us for further more communications now all the communications we will define later in the next this introductory video is to make you familiar with or to make you just uh, familiar how sockets work or what are sockets and uh, for later videos we will going to uh, just check out with the tcp servers and tcp clients and udp servers and udp clients there we will get to the work the sockets object methods that we are going to use for binding and listening uh, binding a particular ip address and uh, port number for them and for a particular socket and uh, listening connections and using multi-threading and everything we will going to discuss uh, in the later on videos and uh, after we will also discuss about different kind of uh, protocols that are uh, that's uh, for example http and ftp etc etc so for this socket object has been created and i'm just closing it out now what i want is if someone some person is having a name of a particular machine or having a domain name and he don't know it its ip address so to retrieve an ip address of a particular domain by python can also be done with socket module just what we need to use is import socket and we are having a method of socket dot get host by name this method gives the returns the ip address of a particular domain that we pass through suppose i want to pass dot google dot com now it will give me the ip address of the google domain so this is the ip address that google is using and the basic thing about the google i want to just uh, uh, put some light over this after checking out four to five times it will show us different ip addresses because google is using a proxy server for its traffic for for the security reasons google is using a proxy server so if you just check it out uh, five or six times from a single machine you get the ip address of google it will show different kind of addresses and that's for because it's using a proxy server and it's masking the ip address different uh, with the different patterns so by get host by name google.com the domain we can get the ip address here and uh, also if uh, we are creating a networked application so we want to convert our ip addresses in some kind of uh, you know uh, binary digit binary data then we want to convert our full proof ip address to binary data so we can also do this by sockets socket is having a method like socket dot inet that's e atom inet addon and it require a parameter of an ip address so for example i want to pass uh, 192.168.1.34 now this method will convert the full proof ip address to 32 bit binary data and uh, when i'm just going to print it out it will show me a question mark or something an encrypted message because this machine is not going to decode the uh, binary data but this is the binary data that we are having this is not showing the exact binary data in zero one form but uh, this machine cannot as decode and display the exact binary data that is uh, going to be converted but uh, if we are taking this and uh, data binary data back in another method that is for example just give it away that r is equals to socket dot inet 
at in 192.168.1.34 and here we are going to store here we stored the binary data in R and what if we wanna replace the binary data to the particular IP address then we are also having a method that is the socket dot init ntoa now i'm going to pass r because i'm having a packed data of 32 bit ip ad uh, 32 bit binary data and i want my ip address back uh, in a foolproof IP address form so when I'm going to click it I'm going it will return me the exact IP address in a foolproof form from 32 bit binary data so in this uh, uh, socket module we are having several kind of methods and several kind of uh, uh, constants that we can use we are having several kind of exceptions also errors that socket dot error socket dot GI error that's for address related problems so just uh, give it a look about the socket module and just do read the python documentation about the socket module and in the later on videos we will describe in the next video i am going to describe the client server architecture and we are going to create a tcp server and a tcp client using python so uh, from now onwards your journey to network application using python has been start and do like and subscribe and please uh, do be in touch with us uh, to get the better and the best knowledge of uh, network programming free of cost and uh, if you have any queries and any sort of doubts regarding this my uh, you can email me at uh, my email that is described in the description box below and uh, and the more and if you have uh, any sort of topic that you want to understand and you want make uh, you want me to make a video or of an uh, tutorial video on that topic then you can request me on the same email id as well so thank you very much and do like and subscribe and uh, hope for uh, hope for your best future and uh, thank you very much